Not only does this AI tool let you chat with YouTube transcripts, highlight key points about longevity. And so not only does it summarize key points, but it also cites its sources. But we can also select four different YouTube videos that are from anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours long, and we can click Get Doc, and we can either extract every key fact, pull quotes with any common theme, we can find all numerical stats, find interview questions, synthesize highlights and notes, or summarize content. Here, we are going to hit get every key fact, and it's like, what kind of insights are we looking for? And we're gonna put the future of content creation in the world of AI and avatars. And so it generated this full document pulling all of the key facts. And we can even watch all the clips here. Obviously, you're, you're trying to be fair by doing licensing deals. Hello, my name is Riley. In this video, I'm going to be discussing Cubby that sits at, literally at the center of my content consumption. I have almost a million followers on Instagram and TikTok. And part of why I can pump out one to two videos per day and have for 400 days straight is I focus on my content consumption engine where I save the videos that I watch or the articles that I read to different categories. But ever since I found Cubby, my output has increased drastically because you can set up RSS feeds and you can subscribe to YouTube channels to automatically get added to specific folders or cubbies. And it saves with the transcript and you can highlight the different parts of the video that you find relevant and then you can immediately export these as MP4 files. And if you're a video editor or content creator, you realize how valuable of a feature that is. But you can also use AI to create a document that asks questions or asks research questions based on like eight hours of videos. And so it allows you to be a true researcher and it'll cite its sources so you can immediately go to that part of the video, highlight the important parts and then export those. And so if you wanna create a massive content engine and you wanna post on all platforms, this is the tool that you wanna be using as the place to collect the relevant assets. And so I'm just gonna go through this entire process here and why it's so valuable for me. This app is like Readwise mixed with Google Notebook LM, but it's better than both of them combined. And by the end of this video, I think you'll agree with me. Let's not waste any time, let's just hop into it. If you look over here on the left side, we see posts, activity, and referrals. So all of the things that get saved to Cubby get saved here in one giant feed. Down here, we see Riley's team. These are all my cubbies. I divide things by my interests. I have a founder's cubby. I have an AI cubby. And so in order to create a cubby, we're gonna press this plus sign. And so I'm gonna name this cubby business two. Within cubby, there are two methods of adding things to cubbies. You can do it manually, and you can do this with one click using a browser extension or any phone app that has that share button. So if you can share anything, you can share it to Cubby. Or you can set up the automatic RSS feeds or add YouTube channels to automatically add to specific Cubbies. So that's what I'm doing right here. So if we go back to Cubby and we go to the business two section right here, we can go up to the top right, press these three dots, hit integrations and hit new integration. We can click YouTube channel and we can add why Combinator, subscribe to channel. We can hit new integration. We can subscribe to the founders podcast, subscribe to channel. And so whenever they make a new video, it will automatically populate in here. The 10 people plus AI equals billion dollar company. This sounds like an interesting video. Let's copy the link and we can manually add it by copying and pasting but there's actually an easier way to do it. If you're on Chrome, it'll be up in the top right where all of your extensions are. If you add the Cubby extension, you can press Cubby and we can immediately add this to the business. And we can also, let's say we wanted to add it to the founders and the AI section. We can add it to multiple Cubbies if we want. So as you can see here, this one was added to all posts. This shows every single post that was added and then we can come down to the new cubby that we added and we can see all of them separated. Right now, this is the only one that I've added, so let's go ahead and click on this. This is the screen. This is what it will look like. Check this out. So we can highlight this first part and we can hit play. So we can play any section we want by highlighting and hit play. 
what is the state of this these AI programmers? Like, is it reliable yet? And where you can literally just follow yeah. along. Ten people on them. If we imagine a world where there could be companies less at And so let's say, oh wow, that hook was really good. Will we see software companies that converge on billion dollar companies that have like 10 people in them? We can copy this. Now we click on this to the right and we can move the player over here. We can go full screen, bring it back down. And what we can do is we can hit start new chat and go tell me and we can paste that in. Will we see uh, software companies with massive unicorns with 10 people in them? And we're gonna press enter and it's going to ask basically the transcript on why that is the case. And it's going to cite the sources, right? So we can press this source and let's go ahead and play this. We've or even like frank like fang companies that have like armies of junior employees and converge on a point where you could have unicorns billion dollar companies that have like, 10 people on them and whatsapp and instagram are probably the closest to that ever happening so we can hit highlight and once we highlight we can add a note we can um say examples of companies and then we can go back to chat okay i want i want some more examples let's go uh continue chatting and say what were all the companies in this episode mentioned in bullets? And you can ask basically any question. Whatever question you have about any YouTube video, you can immediately ask questions. So they talked about one called Devon. Um, I believe that this was spelled, and again, it's pulling from the transcript. I think it's with an I. And so it took the internet by storm, which is true when Devin made their announcement, which was kind of the AI agents platform. And we can click on source number one and we can see, okay, so this is a good clip by Devin. Let's go ahead and highlight this. And so we're gonna highlight this for later because you'll see in a second why this is gonna be important. If you're a content creator or video editor, you're gonna love this one. They talked about another company called Sweep. Companies like Sweep, we also worked with Fume. Let's say we want to highlight this part right here we can add tags. So let's say we have a tag for uh, tweet ideas. So we have tweet ideas and we can immediately just add a tag and we can also add a comment. This is a great example. Post this video on LinkedIn. And you're like, okay, well, you're gonna have to download the full video, maybe go into an app like Descript, export the video, nope. Watch this. This is the feature that's gonna save me the most time. Check this out. I can then, I can double click on any comment and I can hit download highlighted clips. All of the sections of this video that I have highlighted are going to be exported as MP4 files. I won't have to download the full video. It's just going to download those sections of video. Now, if we check our downloads folder, we will see a zip file. We click on the zip file, boom, those four clips. Let's click on the first one. Related to, to Jensen's clip is the launch of Devon, which also like took the internet by storm and has inspired many founders to go into this area, including a, a lot of the companies. Let's go to the next clip. Companies like Sweep, we also work with Fume. Next clip. Internet, the idea that in the future, unicorns could have 10 employees. Next clip. I have to say, I feel like of founders I work with, especially sort of the younger hardcore technical engineers. But it gets even cooler than this. What we can do is we can select three or up to 10 different documents and we can hit these three dots here and we can hit get cubby doc and we can hit extract every key fact with certain criteria. So every fact about X, we can do pull quotes, same thing, pull quotes about a certain topic and they call them filters. Let's pull quotes. It's using the best AI models, uh, GPT-40 to go through. I think this is like a total of six hours of content here. And so we can say quotes about growth of the economy and the importance of growth, because that's one of the themes that Peter Thiel talks about a lot. And so we can hit create, and it's going to begin creating this document. Usually it takes around 30 to 45 seconds. And so after about 30 seconds, it created this document. And so we found 15 different quotes that match your filter. 
and you can see the source. So let me show you. So it's to create a value company, you have to basically have to both create something of value and capture some fraction of that value of what you created. So what we can do is we can immediately play that. Well, and I, want, I want to suggest that there's basically a very simple, uh, very simple formula. So to create a valuable company, you have to basically uh, both create something of value and capture some fraction of the value of what you created. Amazing quote. What we can do is we can immediately press this eyeball and it go, takes us to that quote and we can highlight and we can immediately just right, uh, right click and we can hit download to highlight clips. And then we can go back to that cubby document and that is downloading in the background while we go on with our work. Boom, already done. And we can see here, if we go to our downloads folder, we can see- Valuable, and I wanna, I wanna say big business. So to create a valuable company, you have to basically uh, both create something of value and capture some fraction of the value of what you've created. And there you go. You have that clip. And you can see here, all of them right here saved to a document. If you are trying to analyze any of the tech companies in Silicon Valley, Airbnb, Twitter, uh, any emerging internet companies, all the ones in Y Combinator, the math tells you that three quarters, 80, 85% of the value is coming from cash flows in years 2024 and beyond. You notice this one is from the competition is for losers. And we see that this clip, it's very hard to see how anything like uh, the kinds of societies we have in, in um, Western Europe, the United States could function without, without growth. When the pie stops growing, it becomes a zero sum dynamic um, and the legislative process does not work. And, uh, and so- the And again, you can always go to that quote directly and highlight that and if it's of interest you can immediately download the highlighted clips this is an example of a video that you can actually extract and learn a key skill from and so i think this is one of the best use cases for cubby and so we can start a new chat and you can literally say outline all of the steps mentioned with a description on how to be a great script writer. And so this is going to outline it right here. So idea generation, drafting an audience avatar, the four hat writing process. I never heard of this. And we can literally get this full outline right away on any YouTube video that you can then copy. You can bring into something like Notion, right? Writing process for YouTube. We paste this in here and it pastes it in in perfect formatting. Look at that. Mini payoffs, engaging with the audience, writing with emotion and progression. Boom, we have this document right here outlining the full process in 10 seconds, right? And then it also has suggestions. So why is it important for script writers to create detailed audience avatar? We can uh, click on that, it auto populates it and we can add to that question. I decided to just use it verbatim. Do an overview outline of the interview and cite sources. So you can actually just ask it to cite its sources. Here it will actually just give sources. So importance of script writing, we can press it right here. Uh, the role of the script writer. And this allows you to actually click on these sources. So in order to get it to cite its sources, all you need to do is just ask. And this allows you to just easily navigate through the YouTube video and again, we can uh, highlight all of the key parts that we like. Let's say we wanted to highlight all of these different parts right here. So I just highlighted a ton of these and we can hit download highlighted clips and we just, and now it's downloading all eight highlights that I just highlighted. And so just like that, we can go into the cubby highlights and we can see all of the clips that we just saved. And if you want to see the ultimate content creation hack, check this out. So what we can do is we can go to Super Creator AI and we can create a script. So we're going to start a script. We just downloaded eight different videos. And so we can just drag them in in order. Number two, number three, number eight. So on our phones, we can immediately scan the QR code on the computer. So on the Super Creator web page, we can just scan this QR code, click this link and it's automatically bring up this video outline and we can hit create video and we can hit record ourselves. Now what we can do is we can scroll over to this play icon and so the video will pop up. So we can start a scene here and it'll automatically start playing. Now there are gestures that you can use. So with two fingers you can toggle the volume. The number of choices you have at a given 
And if you tap with three fingers at the same time, it'll actually start it over. So I'm going to use the two fingers to turn on the volume, then use the three fingers to revert it back to the beginning of the video. Watch this. The number of choices you have at a given point, or because it actually cuts off the number of choices you have at a given, because it actually cuts off the number of choices you have. So what I'm about to show you is absolutely insane. Listen to what this video editing genius has to say. Because it actually cuts off the number of choices you have. And you can pause it with one finger. Now let's press finish. And so that last clip here was 91 so seconds. Start a scene. So we can go to the next scene. So all of those videos that we added right here are added in different scenes of the video. Okay, now we wanna comment on scene number six. We start recording and it's going to begin playing without sound. Now what we can do is we can go like this. We can go uh, tap with two fingers to turn on the volume. I, the third hat is the writer's hat. Start it over with three fingers. The third hat is the writer's hat. Ah. That's just a really easy way to create content. Then when you're done, you press this check mark right here and it's going to allow you to edit that video, add subtitles, and it's just, I think, the easiest way to create high quality content for vertical formats like this.